Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. So for today's video I thought I would go over Darth Maul and how powerful he was in lore. There will be a source linked in the description but I can't really remember the name right now. But anyway it is definitely going to be in the description so you can go and check it out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into it, I'm going to basically read out the paragraph, go over Darth Maul and how powerful he was, so hope you enjoy. Darth Maul was never a true Sith and what I mean by this was he was never trained to be a Sith, he was more so trained as a weapon and this is because of the rule of two which is introduced by Darth Bane. And what this rule meant was there could only be two Sith in the galaxy at the same time so there would be a master and there would be an apprentice and obviously the master would be a master, there would be an apprentice who would eventually learn everything and try and overthrow the master and then if they failed the master would go look for a new one or a new apprentice. If the master died and then the apprentice took over the apprentice who's now a master would go on and find his or her apprentice which is very confusing but it basically it's still around even in the canon timeline i believe maul displayed a reasonable amount of competence in telekinesis utilizing force grip and force choke while interrogating hoth monkar i'm not really too sure how to say that and being able to activate a set of door controls behind him with a flung piece of wreckage Maul also demonstrated a resistance to force lightning, shrugging off a barrage unleashed by Night Sister Megala while hunting for Alexei Garn. Darth Maul was skilled in combining force talents with mechanics. Sidious gave Maul his funds and schematics he needed and provided his apprentice with a secret facility on Coruscant. There, Maul constructed his signature speeder bike, Bloodfin, and using Dark Eye Seeker Droids. While using the force mechanical skill Mekuduru, I'm not too sure if I'm saying that right. Maul modified the protocol droid C3PX into an assassin droid to guard his ship. I would also like to add that Maul was a master in Juyo, which I believe is Form 7, and then there was multiple other forms which he was, I believe, not a master in, but he did know pretty much everything in those forms as well. Now after reading out that paragraph, I would like to say that Maul, in my opinion, is going to be one of the strongest Sith that was ever around. I believe there is like a list going around or there's a list somewhere where Maul is ranked number 7, I believe behind Vader and then there's like 5 others above him, but Maul is obviously going to be number 7 on that so that proves how powerful in a sense Maul really was. Now that has been pretty much everything I wanted to go over in the video, so if you did enjoy the video and you want to see more videos pretty much every single day or every single few days, you can leave a like and you can subscribe and just get notified whenever. The next video will more than likely be on Darth Bane because I want to learn more about Darth Bane in that sense and then after that maybe Revan, I'm not too sure which one it will be yet. So I will update on the community tab whichever one might change, I'm not really too sure yet. So with all of that being said, hope you have a great day and uh, goodbye.